What it do? What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay from over here at Jay's Place TV, as well as Hooked on Autism. And today, let me make sure I get my crystals in that thing. Uh, today, I am bringing y'all a video, and uh, it's going to be going over tips, um, budget tips, cheap tips. Um, it's kind of kind of a collective of things that I do and that I have that I like to share with y'all because sometimes we get caught up in having the pricier stuff or thinking that we need the pricier stuff to actually effectively get out on the water and fish. And that's not always the case. That's hardly ever the case. So uh, I'm going to bring y'all some items that I have found that I take fishing with me on the regular. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Uh, we're going to try to generate some more content over on Hooked on Autism this year. Um, taking it a little more seriously and uh, freshly healing from shoulder surgery. So two thumbs up to that. Um, shout out to Crappie Magnet, Trout Magnet, all of the fam out there at Leland, uh, Leland's Lures. Uh, make sure y'all look them up for the good old Crappie Magnets. Get y'all some goodies uh without further ado first thing i'm gonna bring to y'all something that uh happened to me roughly two weeks ago yep you guessed it frostbite um it's not well i can't say that it's not bad it's painful as fuck right but it's just the tip of my thumb right there and then it's this spot at the tip of the other thumb so um I went crappie fishing. It was maybe six degrees outside. I had on gloves, but they wasn't winterized gloves. Um, and of course, you know, feeling the on site of the cold, my gloves, the tips of my gloves had balls of ice on them from getting minnows, touching the water, you know, stuff like that. Um, and it got to a point where I was like, dang, my fingers are cold, but the cold feeling went away. Um, long story short, I was out there a few hours like that. Um, got in the car, body started warming up. Painful, stinging, tingling feeling in the uh, tips of my thumb. And I think it's another finger here, but it's, as you can see, that finger is not as dark as, where's my camera? That finger. So, went to the ER, got a pain shot. Um, and I think it was a steroid shot as well. And uh, frostbite takes a while to heal. Like I said, that was two weeks ago. And it's still, it's still pretty much, I can feel the fact that I'm touching it just from the pressure, not the actual feeling that you feel touching any other hand. So with that being said, thing number one, I now have winterized insulated gloves. Um, and they are waterproof. They are Densolate is the uh, the name. I think I had that right at first. Yeah. So, and they are made by Ridge Cut, who is not a sponsor, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is for y'all. Get y'all a thick pair of gloves for wintertime fishing. I have reasons and examples as to why. But I did catch 22 nice slab crappies. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, uh, Facebook handle is James Thompson Jr. Y'all can see my beautiful face on the pro profile picture with the wifey. Make sure y'all click on that. That is a Facebook reel. Instagram uh, is Aquarius Unlocked TV, I do believe. So anyways, without further ado, got the gloves. First thing I wanted to... <clears throat> get out there um i did not have any other cold weather related injuries due to the fact that i still have thick socks two pair that i wear um so that was a plus i also have a pair of boots that i've had since i've been fishing and uh, i don't know who make these i think i got them at a walmart um yeah and what does it say down here? Muck. They're made by a company called Muck. Um, and they must be like either fishing boots or duck hunting boots because they're waterproof, you know, and they actually are pretty 
pretty fairly insulated. Right. So thick pairs of socks, thick boots that are actually, you know, not going to let any water into my actual shoe, my socks, hardly ever get wet unless I step over the ring of that boot. Then it's something else. Uh, for those of you that don't know that I am a actual combat war veteran, so I still have my winter weather gear from the military. And basically, you know, these are thermals. Um, these are thermals, let's see. And they don't tell me who they're by, but they're actually nice and, nice and warm. I pair that with an actual regular t-shirt and then another thin long sleeve um, military style um, long john top, right? So I also have the bottoms to those that are actually, of course, being washed at this time, but they match. So I got the top and the bottom and I have the thin set of long johns under those thicker ones. And <clears throat> prior to having that uh, winter weather injury, uh, I told Bae that I needed to give me some thick coveralls. She went and got me a pair of jeans. They look like any other regular jeans, right? But no, they're insulated. Nicely insulated all the way through jeans. Uh, and we got these from Tractor Supply Company. And they are made by Blue Mountain. So these with the military uh, thermals probably might be a little too hot, but in the wintertime, I don't really care about being too hot. I'd rather be too hot than anything. Um, so that is the clothing side. I picked up this right here. Uh, it's a survival knife. I've been cutting candle wax with it, or candles. No, soap. That's what I cut. We made some soap, so I use my survival knife. Um, and it does not have a brand name on it, or else I would tell you. But, of course, extra sharp blade. Got the hacksaw style blade at the top. In the handle of the knife, <clears throat> I get to it. In the handle of the knife, there is a pack of matches, right? And there are thread and a safety pin in there. So, with this knife alone, uh, had I needed to start a fire, really. <laughs> not had I needed, but I didn't have this knife at the time. Um, actually, the winter weather uh, injury helped me to start looking for things of that nature to help if I ever was in that situation again. Because although I do smoke cigarettes and did have a lighter, um, with the tips of my fingers being froze, it's kind of hard to go with that lighter if you smoke or use a lighter like candles, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, so now I can just strike a match and I have, uh, fire star logs as well. I don't have those in here, but I went to Walmart and found some fire starting logs. And if you're not just deep in the woods where you have to worry about a fire, you can actually light that, uh, and utilize that for heat. I've also found taking charcoal and a ceramic, um, uh, flower pot actually you know does pretty good too so that being said i got the ozark trail hatchet that also has works as a i guess you can call it a boat remover got uh three different sizes three eighths one half and five eight um pretty sharp little accessory here just in case i need to get off of the wet ground finding wood and actually trimming me down a limb or two to keep the you know, keep the fire going. So those are belt, um, belt worn. So I can just run my belt loose through it. So I always will have them. Um, another cool little gadget I picked up from Office Depot is this Stanley, Stanley, Lord Jesus, the Stanley Smart Store. What is it? 
sort master huh i was all wrong and so it has a clamp here a clamp here two in the front so i'm gonna open it and it's stackable y'all see that so if i got a couple of these which i probably won't have but maybe three i don't even think that many because i don't have much fishing gear like that well put it like this if i'm going fishing i can make everything fit in this one and unlike some of the tackle boxes that I've had that are made like this, these have grooves in it up top that when you close them, it fits snug down over these. Because I don't know how many of y'all have ever had the cheaper ones uh, from like Walmart. And you put all your stuff in, you turn it up like this, and you start walking, you get where you're going, you open it up. Now your lead weight's over with your hooks, your swivels are over here. Hopefully I won't have that problem with this. And this was 20 bucks. Um, the survival knife was 15 bucks at the pawn shop and the hatchet was an additional seven bucks. Um, and so I am going to off pack my backpack and put stuff into here for the fishing trip and then put the, this hopefully inside of my backpack if it fits. That way I have more storage in the bag and I won't have to keep fumbling through looking for everything. So when I get that all put together, I'll run a short on what it looks like put together. Um, I do still enjoy <clears throat> my two piece ACC crappie sticks paired with, what is this? Uh, bonehead tackle, I believe is this real. I do not know real sizes, but if I had to guess, it's probably a thousand judging off of the spool size. Um, don't know gear ratios. Uh, didn't really look into that, but it's a fairly, fairly good reel. Um, I like the drag system. It clicks. I'm fishing with a two pound SOS. Uh, I think it's trout magnet or crappie magnet. The Leland Lures uh, brand line. I have the Iho jig, and I love the Iho jig because I stick my little crappie magnet sense in there and then just the old regular clip on slip float right now where i was fishing at you probably i think i was fishing maybe a foot and a half deep that's a two-piece uh let me tell y'all the size of it it is a two-piece medium fast uh it does not say the size but i know good and well is every bit of, might be the seven footer, seven something or another, but it does not have the height on here. Most times you can find the length of it on here, but it's a medium fast action. Ah, GS76SG. So if I had to guess, that would be the seven foot six, two piece. I ain't real big and technical. That's about the most expensive item that I carry when I go fishing aside from myself and my pride, <laughs> um, which can get damaged totally when you enjoying something that turns out like this. Anyways, um, so that's the backpack. Uh, and prior to getting the separator, I have stuff everywhere in my bag. So, another good thing that um, my wife has these here, and they go inside of binders, and they are waterproof. Um, so far, waterproof, right? And so, I've taken terminal tackle and put it in there. Got my bobber stops, line cutters, fishing line. Uh, I got one that has nothing but bobbers. And just for those days where I'm having a bad day, another bag of bobbers. And then I have my lead weights in one. Um, and then I had this little Rubbermaid thing where I had all my jig heads and hooks. And y'all see, see what I'm saying? If I'm walking, you see how all of that just shifted? That's what I'm trying to knock out with this uh, Stanley Stormaster. And then, of course, the fishing line. I got some 
all different types in here. Mr. Crappie, Hivey is eight. Uh, got my scale. Been at the scale for quite a while. Um, I want to say I got it from Walmart. Might be an Ozark Trail. <clears throat> and another, here we go. This is what I was telling y'all I have on there now. And that is, I lied, it's four pound test. So that's what's on the crappie, uh, crappie stick. And another jumbled up mess of hooks. More layer weights that I need to put where they need to go. And this is kind of where I just stored soft plastics. Real magic is something good, just in case you're, you get some sand or some dirt in your reel, you can spray that in there. Uh, but I want to minimize all of this because if you can imagine crappie magnets, slab bites in the chartreuse. If you can imagine trying to look over here, where, where, where is my this? Where is my that? And you have to go through so many pockets and so much stuff has shifted. You don't really want to do all of that. Wire cutters, scissors. And the only thing that I did actually manage to separate was my jigs and jig heads. And they're in their own little thing, but they're about to go into the Stanley thing. And as you can see, this is the bait that I was using. These are the Bobby Garland Mayflies. Uh, being in that backpack, the top has came off. So now I got all type of juice in a in a package. So this was the the top. Maybe they could have did a better job at doing that, but it goes like that. So um, these you can pick up at Walmart. Um, and just cause the bass guy in me, you know, I keep a lip list year round, even if I don't have, I know I can't throw it on that four pounds. So sometimes I have a catfish rod. I keep electrical tape with me and I also keep some super glue with me. Sometimes I put the super glue on the hooks that actually, I mean, my jig heads or whatever to keep the plastics on. And this right here is one of my favorite things that I have. And I was gifted this when I went up to see, uh, when I went up to meet the people up at Leland's Lures, Crappie Magnet, I met the fam up there. And this once upon a time was what they call a tackle pack. And it's just a belt clip and it had a nice little covering over it. You have, uh, matter of fact, if y'all watch this channel and y'all watch Cole and Jay, the Cole and Jay Crappie Magnet Pack uh, bundle is going to, uh, be in a bag and you can get one of these and then you have hooks inside of here you have bait bodies you have quartz jig heads and i put the, these baits on here that y'all see that are not uh there are different brands aside from crappie magnet uh, i put those on here because i made it to where if i ever did just see a pun that wanted to hop out now, all I can do or have to do is take this and then I'm gone. So clip this on my belt along with my survival stuff and this right here and maybe this and I can walk out. And that's as light as you can travel when it comes down to fishing. I don't know how much the tackle packs are. Like I said, I had six of these um, when I left Crappie Magnet. Um, I went out fishing. I fished every day normally in the morning time. And I was telling them that with Hooked on Autism, I would like to have something to give away to anglers, to give away to kids. And uh, it was a couple of guys that I met that did have kids down there. So I gave them uh, one for their kids, one for themselves too, um, because the kids actually were fishing with jigs. So that helped them out, they enjoyed it. And I've been seeing them consecutively when I go back down there. Uh, I gave one to an elderly gentleman He's been down there every morning with me. We've made campfires. So, you know, those little tackle packs really light people's lives up. So y'all can go over to crappymagnet.com, I'm sure, and find them. You know, like I said, uh, as of right now, it's not really sponsored, but they did give them to me to give away. So I'm just speaking on them. Uh, but I hope to do more work with them in the future. So that is my whole little collage of tackle stuff. 
Got to keep you a tab. Um, and then I had, see, no matter where I, no matter where I go and what I do, like I got it. You feel what I'm saying? Hint, hint, hello. <laughs> but uh, so I got that, and that is that's pretty much all I got. An extra little small knife in case I don't want to use the big one. Pretty sure these are pliers. And like I said, all of this is budget stuff. Trust me, if y'all see me with it, I'm not saying I'm the cheapest of the cheap, but I, you hear that? I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to go broke, but I do keep one of these. Never mind the trucking company that old, outdated, and underrated or overrated. I mean, they ain't shit. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Um, but this is one of the things they gave me. And so I charge it up, charge my GoPro, keeps it recording longer. And it also uh, will charge my phone if I find the USB, the big block, instead of the USB-C that I have. So with all of that being said, the bag and the combo is the most expensive thing. I don't go and buy the expensive quartz. These are quartz you can find at Walmart. There might be some good ones in there somewhere, but most of my good ones are in the tree limbs and on stumps and bridges and stuff like that. So I've learned quite quick that you can fish and be effectively fishing with the cheaper stuff. Um, a lot of people wonder about line. You know, hey man, why would I use a two pound? Why would I use a four pound line? In my opinion, it was, it, it still is a nerve wracking choice to make. Cause once you get hung up, you can hang that shit up. You ain't getting, you ain't getting it back. So what I found to be more effective on my nerves when I'm fishing like that is I fish shallow and I try not to really get too close, but what light line does is it gives your lure a more livelier presentation, right? And the best example that I can give is if you, if I were to come try to kidnap you and I had rope with me, if I tied you up with rope, which symbolizes the rope coming down to your hook, if I tied you up with 550 cord, which is military grade cord, you're not getting away. You're going to get tired and you're probably going to give up the fight, right? But if I came in there with some Walmart thread and tied you up, you're going to fight until you really give up yourself or until you get free. So think about fishing with a minnow. If you got heavier line on there, that minnow's going to tire out, right? He's not going to swim as he normally would. The lighter line will allow him to swim more, which might grab more fish's attention. And honestly, since I changed over to that light line, matter of fact, the day I changed over to that light line is when I went out there and caught those 22 crappie and none of them were small at all. So that right there is the best example that I can give you as to why I'm happy but nervous at the same time. So the lighter line will, I say, make it better for you. Try it. And shit, if you don't want to try the, where did it go? If you don't want to try this line, you know, get you a, get you a, a four pound spool at Walmart just to try for, for a day. You know what I mean? And go out and see if that increases your actual fish catch, uh, more bites, maybe even bigger fish. Because, you know, when you start changing that type of stuff, you also change up uh, what fish reacts, the size fish reacts to it. Um, I go with the smaller corks most time, as you can tell. They might be long, but they're small. They're not the real big, bulky ones. Um, Unless I'm fishing and casting out, I use this one right here. I pull the spring back, set it where I want to set it, cast it out, and I can see it better as I'm jigging back. Um, but most of the time, if I'm going lighter, lighter line, I'm going with a lighter split shot, I'm going with a lighter cord, and any action on the bottom of that cord, I mean on the bottom of that hook, you're going to see a dip. Versus having it overweighted, you know, half of it up, half of it down in the water. It's just, just because you go with lighter line don't mean you can't still overweight that bait. You know what I mean? If you're in some current, yeah, throw another split shot on there. These are the sizes that I try to stay with. They are at Walmart, 99 cents. Like I say, 
do yourself a favor, try some different stuff. I was not and still kind of am not a fan of light line, but it's something that I had to step into to get used to it. I'm really not a jig fisher, but going out, catching 22 crappie that are all slabs, fishing with a jig, twitch, twitch, stop, twitch, twitch, it's gone. To have that feeling, now I'm kind of like, okay, I can do this. Uh, I was a live bait fisherman. If I couldn't stop by the bait shop, on my way to the lake, it wasn't no sense of me going. Cause what I'm, what the hell I'm gonna use to catch fish? Now, I literally am comfortable enough to bypass the bait shop and use the baits that I have now. And that really just started. So I'm not telling y'all something that, you know, I've been doing for a while. Hell no. Nah. The last time I went fishing was the only time I didn't go to the bait shop. Actually, yeah, that's the only time I didn't. So that day built up my confidence enough for when I do get a chance to go back up there, I'm not even gonna stop by the bait shop. For baits, I might stop by and get a Coke and a honey bun. Other than that, I'm going straight to the lake with what I got. See if I can relive that 22 crappie uh, moment. So, uh, these, you can probably get, these are work pros. I don't know if Walmart carry them. I got them from a trucking company and these little scissors, of course, they come from right here at the house. Um, like I said, I don't, I don't need all the, the the bells and whistles. Would I like them here? Yeah, I would like them. What fisherman wouldn't? But if I'm going to invest money in something, it's not gonna be something I can really lose like that. I would rather it be my rod and my reel. And that reel was twenty one dollars. The bonehead tackle reel is like twenty four dollars at the bank shop. The stick I think it was like 69 bucks so that's not even one of those crappie sticks that's like 170 or 120 dollars that's like the lower end one but guess where I fall into line at on the lower side so hell I got the one I've always liked them they do help you with the sensitivity you can feel more bites when you're jigging uh, <clears throat> and so far it's kind of stood the test of time. I mean, I'm not really the safest person when it comes down to fishing and fishing poles and not bumping them against the walls in the house. So I like them. Um, but I can catch just as many fish if I went to Walmart and got a $10, $19 pole. So, you know, and I do have one of those in the garage actually that that pole, that reel was on before I got this. So like I said, I don't have a lot of expensive stuff even my bass gear i got an expensive pole and uh slx dc yeah i think that's what it is slx dc and i've had it shit about three years now so you know if i'm gonna invest i'm gonna invest there everything else can be lost and bought again but if i'm gonna lose it i'd rather not lose it and it still messed my day up. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have been on the phone with wifey, talking, and losing a lot of cheap stuff. And I don't care who hey, you hey, are. Throw me on the bus like that. I, I ain't throwing you under the bus. What I'm saying is, it's not her fault. She's not at the lake with me. I'm at the lake with me. But if you get to lose in a couple of these dollar quarts, <laughs> and you get to lose in some of these $2.19 packs of hooks that come in a 10-pack at Walmart, Hey, them add up, so it get it get real frustrating real quick. You know what I mean? Everybody knows what I'm saying. I had I can go out right now and throw a 99 cent hook and a 99 cent cork, and I might be upset about losing that cork. It might not be the fact that I got a I lost it. It might be the fact that I got a retie and I didn't know I was that deep, or I got a bite and I got hung up and it broke off. So I don't even know what fish it was. It's a lot of things to go into the uh, aggression and and, and anger when you lose and stuff, no matter how cheap it is. But what I will say for people who clicked on this video, follow me, go ahead and like and subscribe because when I run across these Walmart deals and things that I know that work, that are on the more friendlier side of the wallet, I'm gonna let y'all know. That's what I'm here for, that's what I do. And I like that. And I'm probably gonna try to stay true to that until somebody gets a sponsor in me and then guess what I'm gonna do then? I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna do giveaways 
so that y'all can have some of these more pricier things that y'all wouldn't buy on y'all own. So I'm gonna still be hooking the community up. That's just a part of me. If you want me and you wanna sponsor me, you're gonna have to know that we're gonna give away some things at some point of time to people who normally wouldn't be able to afford it because that's my mission, that's what I'm about. So, with all that being said, I'm gonna get out of here because I still gotta fix this up, but I'm cool. It's your boy Jay. Y'all watch me on Jay's Place TV. Some of y'all probably watching me on Hooked on Autism because it's going up on both channels, right? I have more subscribers over here at Jay's Place than I do over at Hooked on Autism, but I'm gonna turn that up a notch this year. That's where I'm gonna be posting a lot of content. So if you're over here at Jay's Place TV and you want more content like this, plus a little bit of fishing, then make sure you go over to Hooked on Autism as well. We love to have you over there. And y'all enjoy the ride. It's your boy Jay and I'm gone.